Hello everybody, welcome back to Ramblings of the South Stand. I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic and well. And we are back with something a little bit different now. It's a little live stream before the game. Sort of, I wanted to do, wanted to like incorporate it well, where like sort of later on what I'm going to be doing is if we're going to go to the game, we're going to do sort of an on the road thing. We're going to show you the lineups before, go through them. Obviously it's an hour till kickoff. And um, yeah, massive, massive changes for um, Nottingham Forest. Unbelievably. Um, Lewis Graben isn't playing, which is absolutely fantastic news for Leeds United. This isn't going to be a massive thing, guys, so I just wanted to just sort of do a quick preview. Hello to everyone tuning in. Um, so I've sounded a little bit out of breath, just come back from a walk. Um, yeah, so I'm very positive for today because Leeds start with a lineup of Peacock Farrell, uh, Luke Ayling, Jansen, Phillips. So Phillips starts um, at the back, which is very interesting. Obviously, I think a lot of us wanted to see Phillips being pushed up into the midfield, um, but it looks like. Um, Phillips is going to be playing at the back. Barry Douglas, Forshaw, Alioski, Cleek, Hernandez, Harrison again. Um, so Harrison starts. Um, I don't know what you guys think about that. And all obviously up front, Keymark, Roof. A fourth game in 10 days, but Leeds United unchanged at Nottingham Forest. Um, yeah, um, I know uh, Joe's watching this as well, um, my, my colleague, and he's just mentioned that we thought Tyler Roberts would be at CAM. I, I thought so as well. I know Joe mentioned it in his video last night. I think we'd see um, Tyler Roberts at CAM. I thought he came on and did a really good job, um, but evidently not. Evidently he wanted to stick with Jack Harrison, so I don't know what you guys think about that, but yeah, um, we're hoping that this time he's going to have a little bit of a better game because we really need it, and what a kick on it would be for his for his sort of career at Leeds United, you know, if he made a proper statement today, if he made a proper statement, if he was to sort of go there to Nottingham Forest and really give, I think it'll be Derrick were on his side, it'll really give him a test, but Derrick was a, he's a very good player, so you're kind of hoping that Harrison uses, you know, something that we've not seen yet, we've not seen that Man City Jack Harrison, we've not seen that New York City Jack Harrison, so... You know that's that's what I'm that's what I'm, I'm praying we see from him. Um, but anyway, onto the Knotts Forest lineup. Nottingham Forest. So we go with so they've gone with Costal. It's 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 a say, it's a very similar Nottingham Forest lineup to what they go uh, for normally. Costal, Pantilamon in net. Um, Derrickwa right side. Heffley and Danny Fox in the centre. Left back Jack Robinson. Um, obviously the scorer at Ellen Road. Midfield uh, Claudio Jakob and Jack Colback. Um, uh, three behind um, the striker Matty Cash. Jao Carvalho and Joe Lolly. I wouldn't have minded Joe Lolly been injured for this one. <laughs> I really wouldn't. Um, but they start with Daryl Murphy up front, which is a massive change. It definitely changes Forest Forest um, sort of play as well. They normally go through the channels, as Leeds do with Kimar Roof. Um, but um, with Daryl Murphy, they're going to have to go along. Um, because obviously, Daryl Murphy doesn't possess pace. He's a lot older. And that you can't really play inside the, the, the sort of channels and do one-touch football like Forest normally do. They're gonna have to go long, sort of thing. So Leeds can really hurt them here. Um, so yeah, it's a massive, massive test for Leeds United today. We were talking in my group chat last night, my old Leeds TV group chat, and we need to start this year off with a bang. The second half of the season is always notoriously tougher for Leeds United. It's always tougher for Leeds United. So we need to start with a bang. Getting a win at the City Ground will be a massive, massive statement for not only for us as fans, but for the league. Leeds United winning away at the City Ground. We've got a good record there. So. Um, yeah, I mean, looking at the lineup now, I'm, so yeah, so obviously Guardiola's not starting either, um, Yanko's not starting, so it's a very similar lineup to um, Forest Last Encounter, but like I've said, huge, huge that Lewis Graben isn't playing. Obviously, 14 goals for this season, three or four assists as well. Um, it's, it's a massive, massive thing for Leeds that, so we need to go there, we need to put a statement out, keep control of the ball, keep control of possession. And attack Forest from the off. Getting the getting the first goal is monumental today. The first goal score is huge for Leeds United. If we get that first goal, we don't lose from winning positions. Leeds United notoriously this season do not lose from winning positions. So I'm I'm praying I'm praying I'm praying we get that first goal. I do think if Forest get that first goal, Leeds are going to struggle to get back into it. We're away from home. They've got the crowd on their side as well, and they're a strong team. Uh, Nottingham Forest as well at the back. I know they've leaked a few goals. But normally when they take the lead, they're very strong, aside from the Norwich game of um, holding the lead, league, uh, lead, sorry. So, yeah, I don't know what you guys expect. Love leads, 3-1 leads. Um, I know Joe mentioned earlier on that he was surprised Guardiola wasn't starting. I am too. I think he started at Ellen Road, didn't he? He played really well at Ellen Road as well, sort of controlled that midfield. Um, but, yeah, guys, so that's it really. Um, I'm going to predict, I'm going to stick with my original prediction, um, 2-2. Two, two. I'm sorry if that sounds negative. I think I just think we look tired at the minute. We look really, really tired. 
Um, but I think Lewis Graben not being in the side is a massive, massive coup for Leeds United. So let's go there. Let's get a win. Come on, boys.